Across the vast continent of Africa, there exist a handful of nations that remain unrecognized by the global community and continue to exist beyond its boundaries. These nations have declared their independence, but have not been recognized by other countries, the United Nations, or international organizations. The lack of recognition of these African countries has a significant impact on their citizens, who often struggle with economic, social, and political challenges as a result. By exploring the reasons why these countries are unrecognized and the implications of their status, we can gain a better understanding of the complexity surrounding international recognition. This video aims to shed light on the plight of unrecognized countries in Africa, and the efforts being made towards achieving recognition. To ensure that you don't miss out on more great content like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe to Africa Info Hub. Also, click on the notification bell. Without much delay, let's dive into the video. Number 10, Beer Tall. Beer Tall is a peculiar strip of land situated between Egypt and Sudan that has captured the attention of the world due to its unique status as a terra nullius or no man's land. It has been the subject of a territorial dispute between the two countries, but neither of them has officially claimed it as their own. In 2014, an American named Jeremiah Heaton declared himself the king of the region and named it the Kingdom of North Sudan, but it has not been recognized as an independent country by the international community. Aside the novelty of the situation, the lack of recognition of Beer Tall as an independent country highlights the complexity and challenges of international law and state sovereignty. Moreover, the harsh and inhospitable environment of the region, devoid of basic amenities, makes it unfeasible for human habitation. Thus, the curious case of Beer Tall remains unresolved, a reminder of the intricate land disputes and the difficulties of state sovereignty in the modern world. Number 9, Somaliland. Somaliland is a self-declared state located in the Horn of Africa. It declared independence from Somalia in 1991, after the collapse of the central government. Somaliland has its own government, military, currency, and legal system, and has managed to maintain a relatively stable and democratic political environment despite being unrecognized by the international community. Somaliland is yet to receive recognition from the international community. This is due to the fact that the African Union and the United Nations both adhere to the principle of respecting the borders of African countries as they existed at the time of independence. This principle, known as the African Borders Principle, has meant that Somaliland's claim to independence is seen as a violation of Somalia's territorial integrity. Somaliland irrespective of their lack of recognition has managed to establish relatively strong economic ties with neighboring countries, and has made progress in building a functioning state. Its success in maintaining stability and democratic institutions has made it a model for other self-declared states in Africa and around the world. Number 8. Western Sahara Western Sahara is a disputed territory in North Africa that has been the subject of a long-standing conflict between Morocco and the Polisario Front, a nationalist movement seeking independence for the territory. The dispute dates back to the 1970s, when Spain, the colonial power in the region, withdrew and left the territory in a state of political limbo. Since then, Morocco has claimed sovereignty over the territory, while the Polisario Front has fought for an independent state. The UN recognizes the Polisario Front as the representative of the people of Western Sahara, but Morocco rejects the idea of independence and has proposed a form of autonomy instead. Despite the lack of progress in resolving the conflict, the situation in Western Sahara remains a matter of international concern. The territory is home to valuable natural resources, including phosphates and fisheries, and there are concerns about the human rights situation in the region. The dispute also has wider implications for regional stability, as it has been a source of tension between Morocco and its neighbors, as well as between the African Union and the Arab League. Number 7. Republic of RIF The Republic of Rif was a short-lived independent state located in the Rif region of Morocco. The Rif region had been historically marginalized by the Moroccan government, leading to a revolt in the early 20th century that eventually resulted in the declaration of independence of the Rif Republic in 1921. 
The Republic was led by Abd el-Krim, who managed to establish a functioning government and army, successfully repelling several attempts by the Moroccan army to regain control. It was never officially recognized as a sovereign state by the international community despite its success, and its existence was short-lived, lasting only four years. The Spanish also intervened in the conflict, ultimately leading to the defeat of the Rif Republic. Nonetheless, the Republic of Rif remains a significant symbol of the fight for independence and the struggle against colonialism, particularly in the African context. Number 6, Log 1. Log 1, also known as the Republic of Log 1, was a short-lived unrecognized state located in present-day Chad. It was established in 1885 by Rabi R. Zubaya, a Sudanese warlord who conquered the region and declared himself Sultan of the Empire of Wuadai. However, after Rabi's death, a power struggle ensued, and the Log 1 region declared independence in 1893. Despite the Log 1 region's independence, it was never officially recognized as a sovereign state by the international community. The French colonial administration in the region eventually overtook the territory in 1900, effectively ending Ligon's brief period of independence. Nonetheless, the Log 1 region remains a significant symbol of the struggle against colonialism in Africa and the challenges faced by unrecognized states seeking sovereignty. Number 5, Kabinda. Kabinda is a small region located in West Africa, bordered by the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the south and the Republic of Congo to the north. The region has a unique culture, history, and a desire for independence. In 1975, Kabinda declared itself an independent country, but its sovereignty was not recognized by Angola or any other country in the international community. The Kabinda region has been the site of a long-standing conflict between the Angolan government and separatist groups seeking independence. The region is rich in natural resources, particularly oil, making it a contentious area for control. Despite multiple attempts at negotiations, the issue remains unresolved, with the Angolan government maintaining control over the territory. The desire for independence in Kabinda remains strong, with many calling for recognition of the region's unique culture and history. Number 4, South Kasai. South Kasai was a self-proclaimed independent state located in the southern region of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It was established in 1960, following Congo's declaration of independence from Belgium, by Albert Kalonji, a local leader who opposed the newly formed government's centralization policies. The region was rich in natural resources, particularly copper and diamonds, making it a valuable area for control. The Congolese government, however, did not recognize South Kasai's sovereignty, leading to a prolonged conflict that lasted until 1962, when the government took control of the region. South Kasai remains an important symbol of the struggle for self-determination and independence in Africa. It highlighted the challenges of balancing regional autonomy with the centralization policies of newly formed African governments. The legacy of South Kasai lives on. Many are advocating for the recognition of regional cultures and the right to self-determination in the face of centralized government control. Number 3, Katanga. Katanga proclaimed its state as independent in 1960. It is located in the southeastern region of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Following Congo's declaration of independence from Belgium, by Moïse Chong, a local leader who sought greater autonomy for the mineral-rich Katanga region. The region was a major producer of copper and cobalt, and its wealth made it a valuable area for control. The Congolese government did not recognize Katanga's sovereignty, leading to a prolonged conflict that lasted until 1963, when the government took control of the region. Katanga remains an important symbol of the struggle for self-determination and independence in Africa. It highlighted the challenges of balancing regional autonomy with the centralization policies of newly formed African governments. Number 2, Ambazonia. Ambazonia is a self-declared state located in the Anglophone region of Cameroon. The region has a distinct cultural and linguistic identity from the rest of Cameroon, and many residents have long felt marginalized and discriminated against by the central government. In 2017, a group of separatist leaders declared Ambazonia's independence, leading to a violent conflict with the Cameroonian government. 
the conflict has led to widespread displacement and human rights abuses, with both sides accused of committing atrocities. Despite international calls for dialogue and mediation, the conflict in Amazonia remains unresolved, with both sides entrenched in their positions. The Cameroonian government has refused to recognize Amazonia's sovereignty, and the separatist leaders have rejected offers of autonomy or federalism. The conflict has highlighted the challenges of balancing national unity with regional autonomy and the dangers of ignoring legitimate grievances of minority groups. Number 1, Anjouan. Nzwani is the other name of Anjouan. It is one of the four islands that make up the Union of the Comoros in the Indian Ocean. In 1997, the island's leader, Colonel Said Abade, declared Anjouan's independence from the Comoros, citing economic and political grievances. The move was not recognized by the Comoran government, leading to a prolonged conflict that lasted until 2002, when French-led military intervention brought Anjouan back under Comoran control. The island's independence movement has persisted, with periodic outbreaks of violence and political instability. The conflict in Anjouan reflects the complex legacy of colonialism and post-colonial state-building in Africa, where regional and ethnic identities often clash with national boundaries. The Comoros, like many other African countries, was created through a process of colonial partition that ignored pre-existing cultural and political boundaries. The struggle for Anjouan's independence highlights the tensions between regional autonomy and national unity, and the challenges of building inclusive and representative political institutions in the face of historical and cultural divisions. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends about it and hit the like button. Also, share with friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.